Hello, cutie patooties. Well, I want to talk to you guys about opposites. And opposites are things that are different from one another. And I thought a perfect example of opposites are my two cats. And you can see my cat here. His name is Detective. And this kitty cat over here, his name is Birdie. So both of my cats are boys. So that's something that's similar that they have in common with each other. They're both cats. Another thing that they have in common with each other. But when I think about opposites, when I think about what's different about them, is do you notice how Detective takes up the whole bed? He is a big, fat, fluffy cat. That's one way that I would describe him. And do you see how Birdie has a lot of space left in his bed? Birdie is a skinny little cat. So they're opposites in that way. Also, Birdie has dark black fur and only a little bit of white. Whereas Detective is mostly light colors like white and tan with only a little bit of dark. So they're opposite because one has more dark fur and the other one has more light fur. Another way they're opposite is their um, age. So Birdie is much older. He's 15 years old. Whereas Detective is much younger. He's just about three years old. Now, when I think about their personalities, Detective is very playful. And I know he's being lazy right now, but usually he's very playful. He likes to scratch on his cat tree. He likes to play with his toys. And he likes to run around and chase Birdie. Whereas Birdie, he's usually pretty sedate. And sedate means that he's pretty calm. He's not very active. Often, Detective tries to play with him, and Birdie just meows and tells him to go away. Another thing is how they meow. Birdie, in the morning, he always wants treats, and he'll do this meow, meow, meow sound. Oh, it's very loud. Whereas Detective, he pretty much never meows. And when he does meow, it's more like a meow, meow, meow. So it's a very quiet quiet kind of chirpy sound, whereas Birdie is very squawky. So another opposite. Well, what I want you to do is find things in your house or things around you and talk with your family about the opposites that you see. So I'll have another activity posted in Seesaw to give you more directions about how to do this. All right, boys and girls, keep in your mind be thinking about opposites.